All right, y'all, I promised I would show you. I got a lash lift and a tint in brow love and a brow tint. Um, I currently have this on sort of my face, but I'm freaking out a little bit because eyelashes are fine. Um, she told me that they're kind of short, which I didn't think they were that bad, but should I get better results if uh, my lashes were a little bit longer? I think they've broken up. I stopped using that serum stuff, so I think they've kind of broken off a little bit. So I need to get back on using it. But um, the eyebrows, yo. The eyebrows. Um, everyone there was super, super nice. Um, it wasn't like just like a here's a quick wax and you're done like she shaped them she tinted them and then she went in and said she did highlight and I think it was like literally just like she filled it in with a pencil which is fine but like there's color where I know I don't have eyebrow hair so what I'm telling so I can't um, get my lashes or my brows wet for 24 hours so I'm just going to be using like a makeup remover or cloth um, tonight and tomorrow morning just to wash up my face. But I'm hoping that when I can wash my brows tomorrow, that they're a little bit less shocking. Because it, she did a fantastic job shaping them, but I'm like, holy fuck, that's a lot of brow. So wait for it. Wait for it. These are my brows right now. It's a lot of brow. I don't think it looks bad. It just doesn't look like me, I guess. And they feel a little, little thick, a little dark. But actually, the color matches the roots of my hair. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of eyebrow. It only lasts like a week and a half, so, you know, and like I said, I think it looks like a little bit not so in your face when I'm able to wash it off tomorrow night, but I guess we'll find out. You're going to go on this journey with me. Here you thought you were talking or listening about bodybuilding, and I hear all about eyebrows. photo shoot on Friday. This shit better fade a little bit. But like I said, there's color where I know I don't have hairs. So it's got to be the highlighter. It's got to be, right? It has to be. Yeah. Can I just tell you that I am so thankful for Lean Kitchen's meals. Um, I haven't gone truly grocery shopping since I got home from my trip like 10 days ago. I kind of was just, I didn't feel like cooking and I cook a lot, but I shouldn't feel like it. And I got myself meals from last week and then this week I um, didn't feel like it either. So I got myself some meals again this week and I just love this. I'm running around all over today. Um, going to do, I had work. And then I have a photo shoot, but before that, I have to get my hair and makeup done. And then my friends and I are going to a drag show tonight. And I'm basically going from like one thing to the next thing to the next thing. So ain't nobody got time to be cooking here. Um, I just love that I'm not the one who made it. It always tastes better when someone else made it. And they have options that like you don't need to have to heat up like wraps and stuff but other ones that you can or should just good i would like to thank all the lovely people at lean kitchen i am not sponsored by them i do not get any kickbacks i just like their shit so Yes, I can clean up. 
<laughs> Hair is done. Makeup is done. About to do this photo shoot. Um, I'm so not excited about getting my picture taken, but I am stupid excited about going to this drag show tonight. So I just need to get through some of these pictures and not look like a dork. And then I want to see some drag. interesting day um I had the drag sh I had the photo shoot yesterday in the drag show that was super fun um had a good time definitely got to bed later than normal um and that's fine we had a really good time I uh, didn't sleep well was sore um we did a bunch of handstand push-ups yesterday and I finally took away the last plate so I just had the mat for my head which is awesome good progress but um sore uh and I don't know I was just tired from bad sleep so I decided to make today my rest day instead of tomorrow um when we were driving up one of the friends from the lake actually came with and stayed over at my house so then I drove back up here with her so that um, we didn't have to have two cars up here and I'll just go home with my husband. So anyway, um, I would say like two hours in a car. It's not a lot of walking around. I didn't go to the gym and do any treadmill. Um, and then when I got here, like literally as soon as I got here, my husband's like, okay, you're ready to go. And I'm like, you know, um, they're doing a poker run here up the lake, which is really fun. You go to different, um, stations across the lake and each of them has a theme to get your your card punched and whatever so I thought we weren't supposed to get picked up till 2 30 but they came a little bit earlier and he was just like it's fine and I'm like dude I just got here I need to eat <laughs> so he's like no no it's fine like we'll come back and get you fine so they come back and get me and I brought you know my big water and a bang and I'm thinking like okay well since we started earlier, we'll get around to the spots faster, go drop the cards off, stay for a little bit, and then, like, come back. So I didn't bring food with me. I never don't bring food with me. <sighs> so, that sucked. I was fucking hungry. Um, not too bad, though. Not too bad. Um... I had the bang. I drank it really slowly because it's in a can with a koozie, so it kind of looks like you're having drinks. Um, and then I just had my water. And I will say, this was hard. Like, um, not, it wasn't hard to not drink, but it was just the whole like answering questions about it. Oh, what are you drinking? And I have this huge fuck jug of water. Like, obviously, this is not alcohol or I'd be dead. But, like, and then it's like, well, why aren't you drinking? I don't want to explain it. Like, I don't look like a bodybuilder. So, to tell you I'm training for something, it's like, okay. Um, and then I, don't, I just don't want to get into all of it. And I just feel like today, out of all the things I've been to so far, um... I just felt like 
I had to explain myself a lot. And they, it wasn't anything bad. Like, nobody, nobody was shitty or judgy. But, like, being a sober one in a group of adults that are very shit-faced kind of sucks. Don't get me wrong. I love people watching. Love it. But, like, at some point, you know, I started to feel like I was the wet blanket. And I was actively trying to not be. And, but, like, I'm not going to get up and dance when I'm sober. I'm just not that kind of person. The only time I dance is when I've had a few drinks and my inhibitions are gone. But I just don't. So they were having a good old time on the boat dancing. And, like, you know, like, you get it. But it's just different. It's just different. And I just felt bad because I didn't want them to feel like I was judging them. Like, I was just watching. I don't know. But... <laughs> It was kind of cute. So, like, they had some food. There was, like, a taco truck there. Man, did I want those fucking tacos? But it was like, nope, I didn't bring my food. I'm not eating. So, and they had pinwheels, stuff like that. It wasn't terrible. But I was just like, no, I know what my plan is for today. I'm going to stick with it. And it wasn't too bad. But <sighs> one of my friends, like, she was great. She was just like, well, do you want to eat Can you have me this? I'm like, well, I could, but I already have everything portioned out for later. Like... I don't want to try and guess on this. Um, it's just like, oh, okay. And I said, so just when we leave, like, if you can drop me off at the pier, so I can go get my food. That's all, all I want. So, um, she was just funny because, like, I, you know, a group of drunk people, it takes a while to leave places. And we actually left two people behind and got, like, pulled out and I had to go back and get them, which is kind of funny. But, um, I don't know. They were talking, like, the boys were talking about, oh, we should do a lap around the lake and blah, blah, blah. Like, they were playing music and dancing in the rain. Like, it was fun, but she was like, no, girl has to eat. Go drop her off to get her food. She's been waiting for us to eat her food. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. I appreciate that. Like that's support, right? Um, so anyway, they dropped me off. My husband stayed with them and they said that they were like, come back and get me. So I ate my food. I just want like a hot shower because it's gotten a little bit chillier and rainy. And then I looked at my watch and I only had like 4,000 steps. I was like, fuck, I need to have 11. So I started going up and down the stairs and pacing around. And I'm like, why am I doing this? It's not raining right now. Let me get the dog, take her for a walk. So that's what I'm doing. And yes, I'm panting because we're going up hills. And yeah. So that's that. And I'm really tired. I have one more meal left, but like, I'm secretly hoping my husband doesn't have them come back for me because I don't want to be up late. And I know I have to work out tomorrow morning. And I'd rather just take a hot shower and go to bed. So, and I have client check-ins to do and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I do have an update. I had a um, check-in on Thursday, today's Saturday. I don't remember if I were, I don't remember if I already told you guys this, but basically, um, my coach and I both decided like, okay, we gave this enough time to adjust from being on vacation. Like, let's just call it stagnation and let's make some adjustments here. So he dropped, uh, my carbs and fat a little bit more and he said, we'll see how that does. Keep your steps the same. Still stay at two days of CrossFit. Um, and we'll see on Monday if you have any movement. So as of this morning, I was like 142.5. So it looked like it was a little bit of movement down, but that was another reason why I wanted to make sure I went on this walk to get my steps because I don't want to have any reason for something not to have worked. And like, there was nothing that was stopping me as much as I wanted to get in that hot shower and get in the bed. There was nothing that was stopping me from getting out here and taking a fucking 20 minute walk. Like it's fine. It's not even dark out. So life's all about choices. And the last thing I want to do is walk outside when it's muggy post rain and potentially raining some more soon. Last thing I want to do is go walk outside, especially after having a day and just being tired, but made a commitment to myself. And I told myself no excuses. And if I truly had been 
cap held captive all day, then I guess there's nothing more that I could have done besides pacing up and down in the boat. But like, I had an opportunity, I took it, I'm gonna meet my fucking goal because that's what I do. No room for air here. And that's my preaching. Anyway, um, that's all for now. I just want you guys out there, and just to let you know, like my coach did not say I could not have alcohol. Um, but I know, number one, that I have to work into my macros and my carbs and my fats are so low, I'm not willing to give up food for drinks. It's not worth it to me. Plus, I needed to recover and drinking would not have allowed me to do that. Plus, I always, 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 always end up retaining water and it messing with my GI system. So it takes me three, four days to feel like I'm back to normal after drinking. And again, it's not worth it to me. I want to give myself the best chance I can. And having a drink doesn't fit in that. So it's not worth it to me. And I can still have a good time without it. So it all is possible. I look homeless right now, but anyway, all right.